Jay's Tunnel here. Oh man, I'm excited to talk to y'all about something today. And I hope y'all are excited too. And I don't, it's a jelly. Well, it's not a true jellyfish. It's a siphonophore, which is similar to what uh, you would find out with the Portuguese man of war. But this one looks like an eyeball. It's uh, floating. It's got this gas filled bulb at the top so it can uh, regulate how it floats up. And then it's got tentacles that come down to the bottom and it can sting just like a Portuguese man of war. Uh, and if anybody's ever been stung by a Portuguese man of war, you know how bad that stinks. Um, this thing is found uh, obviously in the Gulf of Mexico about, you know, every spring uh, we somebody messages us and says, hey, we found an eyeball on the beach. You know, um, what is it? And uh, it's not an eyeball, although it really looks like it. This gas float has a dark spot at the top of it. And when you look at it right away, you think, oh man, that's an eyeball. It must have fallen out of a fish or something. And then it's got the tentacles that are real long, uh, which looks like it could be, you know, coming out of the brain or something. I mean, it's just a real interesting looking animal. Now you might be thinking, what eats this? Well, think about what eats other jellyfish. Uh, I'm thinking sea turtles is a big one. Uh, there might be some fish and stuff that eat it too. Now, whenever it gets washed up here, I'm sure the birds have a heyday with it. So those are just some things to think about what might be eating it. Now, people ask me, how do I know that these eyeball jellyfish will actually sting? And I'm, I'm here to show you right here. You put a, if you wanna feel what it feels like to be stung by one of these, I would suggest not doing it, but I kind of have built up somewhat of a tolerance of pain for uh, man of war and stuff. But this one right here, this has really long tentacles. There's a lot of them washing in today and, and there is pain, trust me. It's not quite as intense as a man of war jellyfish would be, but you can definitely feel it. Now, I'm just amazed at these little critters, but uh, that's about how big they are. These tentacles, if I put these in water, they would actually be probably a foot or two in length. Uh, but since it's been rolling around in the surf right now, um, you know, they're kind of uh, uh, crunched up. Ah, I'm starting to feel the pain here now. Okay, well, I just wanted to let y'all know that they do sting in case you hear people saying they, you know, do they sting or not? Now you know. They, they feed on uh, plankton. Um, if you get stung by it, what should you do? Well, yeah, probably the same thing you ought to do with the Portuguese man of war. Uh, it has those nematocysts that's uh, putting, you know, shooting out venom in you. And, uh, you know, there's really only two things that will help relieve some of the pain and that would be vinegar or warm water so you could try both of those things but not a lot is known about these uh, not a lot of research has been done on them the, i think the coolest thing is is their names so spaghetti monster is what some people call it um, a thread jellyfish is the other one so if you want to google and try to find out some more information uh, those are two of the the names now rhizophysa is the genus name so type that into google i'll put it up here uh, so you can see you know how it's spelled but that is really the way that uh, uh, you could be able to find information on it now the tentacles uh, the how i have it right here it looks like they're only about two inches long but it's because it's uh, contracted up now if this was out in the ocean uh, this could be a foot or two long. If, if you find an adult full-size one, the tentacles can be up to six feet long. And then they get washed around in the ocean, like in the waves, whenever they get pushed up here, it can go down to two inches. So it's from six feet to two inches. That's pretty incredible, huh? Um, I'll try to get some close-up shots here so you can see what it looks like up close. But man, what a cool animal. Um, do not pick this up. Like I said, it stings really bad. Uh, I got it in a glass of water here. I'm not touching it. 
uh, but and I'm gonna uh, actually I've got a jar a sample jar I'm gonna take this back to my office uh, because since we don't see them that often there could be some research done on them uh, so I'll try to get it back but I thought y'all be interested in seeing this that's uh, this episode of beachcombing the spaghetti monster bye